This is Double 1975, and today, like many of you, I've watched the Black Ops 3 reveal trailer. Now, if you haven't seen it, a link will be in the description below, and I think you should go and watch it before watching this video, because that's what I'm going to be talking about, is that trailer and my reaction to it. Now, pretty much my reaction to it is, well, that's nice looking, oh, and a nice choice of music. Paint It Black by The Stones has always been a song I liked, and that harks back very nicely to Black Ops 1 and the feel of the Vietnam War and the way they did the sequence with all the helicopters the air cab as it is going overhead was very much a nod to Black Ops 1. Did this trailer do anything to make me really really desire Black Ops 3 and want to get it as a game? No, not at all. Not in any way shape or form. This trailer was a very slickly presented almost movie trailer of the solo campaign. Didn't show me anything about multiplayer and it really really doesn't make a difference at this stage until I hear exactly how it's played or until I see gameplay footage I'm really going to reserve judgment on this one now I will just say that when Black Ops 2 was in the offing I was sat playing Modern Warfare 3 and my friend Deadway Don asked me if I was looking forward to Black Ops 2 and I immediately said no because it was set in the future and I didn't like the idea of a futuristic shooter didn't make sense to me and I didn't want them so I am probably the worst person to ask for. I never like change, and I don't particularly like learning new things. So every progression, every change in Call of Duty is obviously not going to be met well by me, and I'm not the sort of fan that likes futuristic shooters. I like very much historical shooters, just the way I am. I would have much preferred they say, oh, we're going back to World War II, and that would have been great for me. I would have liked to have seen an origin story in the starting of black ops so the very original commandos so that would have been a great storyline and i would have loved that as a game footage and a game presentation or going back to the 1950s to the start of the freaky mind control era again would have been quite funky and fun but they've chosen to go futuristic and i'm going to wait to see gameplay before i decide whether i want to get it well i say that and i was only the other month saying pre-ordering and advanced ordering is a bad idea and then they go and give us the, oh, if you pre-order now, you'll get beta access for Xbox One. Oh, I'm glad they're doing a beta. Oh, but the tying it into pre-orders is hideous. Because you could pre-order it and find the beta is horrible. Oh, man, I don't know. I really, honestly don't know what I'm going to do at this point. Knowing me, I'll probably get the beta access and pre-order it. But there we go. That's all. Thanks for watching.